Rectify 11. This is a very interesting project for Windows 11 and you should keep eye on this. This project is aimed to make Windows 11 better. This project is still in development and actually it is called Rectify 11 Installer. Before this, the maker of Rectify 11 used to distribute Rectify with Windows 11 custom ISO file. Now they are making a installer, which I think is better approach than, you know, distributing the custom ISO file. Uh, you know, most people don't trust the custom ISO files. So if we have a open source program, which does everything what a original uh, Rectify does, then I think this is actually going to be more successful than the, you know, ISO file. So that's what's up with the Rectify 11 installer. All right. As I said, this is still in development. Uh, right now it is version three and release preview three, which means like it is in super early build alpha build. Now let me show you guys some of the things it already does in Windows 11 and makes Windows 11 better. That is the theming. I like to use dark theme in my Windows 11, but as we all know, dark theme in Windows 11 is inconsistent. Many components of Windows 11 are still in white theme, even if you change it to dark. So that's the first thing Rectify is trying to fix. So I'm in a Rectify, all right, I have it installed. Uh, I'm gonna go and go to properties, let's say for the program, and you can see it is fully dark mode even if i go to uh, the control panel it is dark mode i know there are some things uh, needs to be fixed for example this ribbon where i have to select the category and whatnot so, uh, there are some parts still in white theme as i said this is still in development so expect some weird bugs here and there so that's that. So as of me making this video, this version of Rectify doesn't include everything. It only includes theming and icon changing. You may ask yourself what are the extra stuff that they haven't included. The bloating options and making Windows 11 faster by removing the unnecessary components and stuff like that. And basically the tweaking option is still missing. If you have ever used a Rectify Windows 11 ISO file, then you know that Rectify 11 Windows 11 was lightweight Windows 11. So to make the Windows 11 light, uh, those things are still not implemented in this. This is still in like super early built. Now let's run the Rectify 11 installer so you know what's up, all right? So this is the welcome screen. We have the install option and uninstall option. So basically you can undo the uh, every changes uh, Rectify 11 installer did. So I have it installed already. So I can just uninstall it and go back to original Windows 11 or I can just click on install now. So as of now, you can see there are like really few things that you can change like system icons and theming and some other stuff. So there is no like system tweaks uh, which might make the Windows 11 like faster, lighter and whatever, you know. So we have theming option with the light, dark and dark with Mika or Mica, whatever you call it. So it's going to give you that, you know, glossy look. I actually do like the Windows 11, uh, you know, start menu. So I don't miss <laughs> Windows 10 start menu. I really like the Windows 11 start menu. We're going to have to wait for, you know, stable final build of uh, Rectify 11 installer. Uh, so we can, you know, make the Windows 11 light using this because those things are not implemented yet, like system tweaks and deep loading and, you know, making the Windows 11 light stuff thingies are still not here. And don't worry, whenever the uh, Rectify 11 installer gets the stable build, I'm gonna make a video. And that video is going to be very interesting, more interesting than this, because right now we can't do much with this, just theming and we are done. So we want those extra stuff implemented. <laughs> So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to try this right now, uh, you should try it on virtual machine. Uh, don't try it on your PC because it's a super early build and you know, there are things here and there which might not work. So 
yeah that's it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comments too yeah that's it i will see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun bye bye